This video will explain how to access and use the portal set up by your transportation service provider. You will receive an email from them and it will be similar to this email. It will give you a link to the customer portal. It will list your unique username and password. And here is a complete learning document that will explain to you how to use the portal. I'm also going to explain it in this video. Clicking on the link will bring you to the sign in page of the portal. Your transportation provider's logo will be displayed there. Entering that username or password that you, and password that your transportation provider has provided, you can sign in to your portal. Once logged in, you can use the customer portal to view any quotes or shipments currently active on your account. It will default to the shipment list, which shows you all the loads that your broker or carrier is moving on your behalf. Depending on how many items are active, you may want to search the list to locate the item you're interested in. You can view more details on a particular shipment by clicking the Open icon next to the shipment you want to see. This will bring up the order associated with that shipment. The Customer Portal also allows you to update a quote or shipment by adding your customer reference number. This should be whatever number you use internally to refer to that particular load so that you can easily communicate with your broker or carrier about the quote or shipment in question. You can also specify whether or not you require a proof of delivery or other documentation upon completion of the delivery. You also have the option of adding a note to the item. To do so, navigate to the Notes tab and click on Add Note. Any notes you add will be visible to your broker or carrier and can be useful for communicating additional details about the shipment or even, even proposing possible adjustments to a quote. You can also use the portal to request a quote on a possible shipment. To do so, navigate to the quotes list and click on Request Quote button at the top of the page. This will bring up the Request Quote page where you can enter the details on the shipment you would like to see quoted. Enter the pickup and the delivery destination locations or you can even select an existing location from the drop down or enter a free form location if it's not already in the system. Next, clicking on the Shipment Details tab will allow you to enter the desired information such as pickup and delivery dates, the commodity, packaging details. Once you've entered all relevant information, click on the Create button to submit the quote request. And listed on the main quote list will be all active quotes that you have going on. Requesting an order is similar to requesting a quote, except you have presumably already agreed to the basic details with your transportation provider. Navigating to the shipments list and clicking on the place order button at the top of the shipment page to create a new request. This again will allow you to populate a reference number, any notes, or any proof of delivery requirements. And here you can add the shipment details simply by clicking on add shipment and again putting in your commodity, the number of packages, the weight, etc. and moving through the tabs. Maybe this is a hot load for you. You can switch that shipment flag on and then navigating to the locations, you can detail to your transportation provider where to pick up the order and where to deliver it with specific pickup dates and delivery dates. Once you complete the details, you simply click Create. Your transportation provider will be notified of a new order for you. The other two menu items are 
Balance details. This will show all outstanding invoices you have with this transportation provider and will show you the number of days that your invoices might be aging out at. The transaction history will list all invoices that or orders that you have given this transportation provider and any checks that you may have issued to this transportation provider as well. Across the top is simply a summary. The live quotes you have, the orders you have in process, the outstanding balance you have with this carrier or broker, and your remaining available balance. And that's the customer portal for you.